Hello and welcome to the Scream Chronicles. I'm Colby and with me as always is Steve. And today we're coming at you with a reaction video and uh, recap of the trailer for the new movie coming out, The Green Knight. Yeah, make sure stick around after we watch the trailer here and we're going to tell you more about our thoughts, what we're hoping for, uh, what we thought about it. So stick around. Yeah, this sort of medieval genre is kind of our favorite, so uh, we're very excited for anything coming out uh, i've actually been in like withdrawal from like any kind of medieval or even fantasy type movie so i'm very excited for this movie let's check out uh, the trailer and see what it looks like friends brothers and sisters Ooh, green seal A green seal who can regale me and my queen with some myth Crap going on. And a round table. Is that King Arthur, I think? Oh, tell you. Whoa. Tree man. Oh, greatest of kings. Oh, he's from uh Let one of your knights Macbeth. try to land a blow against yeah, me. Back. Indulge me in this game. I will be the Oh man! This summer. That's a creepy axe. It's been another year nearly gone already. And some creepy medieval, like, painting stuff. <laughs> you seek him out? Was it not just a game? Perhaps. But it is not complete. You will find no mercy. No happy end. This looks really cool visually. Why do you stop me? Me yeah, do. As I can. Box. Get that fox! Get rid of that fox! <laughs> you rest your bones. Oh, that guy was finished creepy. Quest for you now. He reminds me of like a Ramsey for some reason right there. What the costumes? Oh, this looks so... Whoa! Whoa. Giants! Space travel? Ugh. And what do you hope to gain? Oh, Joel. it's um... Joel Edgerton! Yeah, but he's uh. Facing all of this. Ooh. Oh, his head was on fire. Oh, that's yeah. shot right there. Oh my god. That is why Knight does what he does. I Knight does what he does. There he is, Tree Man. The axe. He, did he lay the axe on the step for him? I guess. The Green Knight in theaters this summer. And when exactly does it come out? It was originally set to come out last year in 2020, but because of COVID and everything, it's got postponed to July, July 30th, July 30th. 2021. Yes. So, okay, that looked pretty epic. That looks pretty epic. I love how, like, as soon as that fox, like, started talking, he's like, hell no! And he just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I've, having this. I've seen this before. May I do as I can. The, it was also I've seen the fox mm. kind of reminds me of like the Chronicles of Narnia yeah. going on with how the animals talk and that. Mm. But it was, a, it was a real creepy fox, and I see um, a little bit too with that. That's Sir Gawain. Gawain. So that's Sir Gawain. If you're if you're unaware. Yeah. Um, but back when the very first trailer dropped, it was like a year ago. I remember when we we looked like it up. The teaser. Yeah, the little teaser mm -hmm. going on. Yep. And had no idea what it was. Just said Green Knight, and it was very vague. Um, so this one looks like we're getting a little bit more about mm -hmm. it, but it looks yeah. it looks creepy. On the first trailer, it... I was like, it looks creepy, and now it still feels really creepy. But yeah. it still looks epic, which is what I'm excited for. Yeah, uh, it looks really epic. So Sir Gawain is going to be the main character of this, and he is Sir Ar or King Arthur's nephew. Okay. Um, and I guess you were talking a little bit about how like the legend goes. We won't spoil anything. But just maybe we could set it up. Yeah, well, this is based on uh, one of the old Arthur legends, though. Yeah. And the Green Knight, who that tree guy rides in the town, he's the Green Knight um, that they talk about. And it is this old legend where Gawain cuts off his head there, and then he goes on a journey then. It's a year fourth after, like how they say in the trailer there, um, that he goes back to the man, and it's supposed to deliver the same blow to him. 
Mm-hmm. And it's about honor and doing the right thing. And that's what that's what he said at the end, that cool line. Why does the knight do what he does? It's for honor. Yeah. You know, why else? Yeah. All right. So that's an epic trailer, by the way. Mm. That was an epic trailer. And you know what shot got me going? Hmm. When the knights oh. in unison unsheathe their swords. I guess that's the knights around the table then, right? It's got to be. And I'm guessing that um, that's King Arthur. Yeah, the guy at the center there. It's got to be. Looks like he's like at the end of his life. Mm. Um, you know, he's probably already done all of his, all of his deeds. legendary deeds. And and uh, like you said, he's from Macbeth. And the actor. Sean Harris. Yeah. So Sean Harris. is um, King Arthur. At the, yeah, that's confirmed here. Yep. So, yeah, he, I know him from Mission Impossible. He's yeah. a creepy guy on that. And then Macbeth. Too. He's a creepy. Yeah, and Macbeth. Who's who is he in that? McDo, Mc McDo, or McDuff? Yeah. The McDuff. McDuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. McDuff. Visually, that was a good movie. That was too. A, that was a good movie visually. Visually, um, I feel like Shakespeare is a certain particular taste, and you got to kind of respect. Like, I guess it's a classic. Macbeth is a classic. Yeah. The main actor in this who plays Sir Gawain is um, Dev Patel, uh, an English actor, and he has been in movies such as Slumdog Millionaire and the movie Lion which I've heard is a very good movie. But overall, man, I, that, that movie gets me pumped. Like you said, I we love medieval stuff and big medieval fantasy journey movies. I feel like we haven't really seen any of those in a while. Well, you know, the King uh, Arthur movie came out and there are parts we liked. We think it was a little bit over... Um, it was rushed. It was rushed. over edited. A lot of maybe. montage. Yeah, over montage. Over montaged. First montage, amazing. But they just montaged it a couple other times in the movie, and I feel like a lot of really great scenes may have gotten cut out. Um, I think it's a type of movie that if they maybe did like, um, a, was it Guy Ritchie cut? Mm-hmm. Like they did the Zack Snyder cut, yeah. maybe it would be even Release better. the Ritchie cut. Again, visually, King Arthur had some amazing moments, but um, didn't really land, I think, the way it could have. I think this is going to be more of an artsy take on it. That Studio A24 that it was, Yeah, they did that creepy movie you were telling me about hereditary that? midsummer and midsummer by the way i love horror movies those are two excellent horror movies um steve hates them well, but the deus ex machina remember that one with uh ex machina yeah ex machina with uh who is it? who who's the uh, main guys in that both in star wars poe dameron and poe dameron uh, um uh, jason Hux. isaacs yeah jason isaacs and General Hux were both in that. That was a good movie. It was in those that was a great creepy. movie. Yeah, that was a creepy movie. So this this movie has that creepy vibe too. Yeah, and it's got like the artsy, this is film, cinema mm-hmm. sort of thing to it. But it also has epic, we saw giants in there. Yeah. The giant things. Yeah, it's going to have that mystical feel, that fantasy feel. Yeah. And visually, like I love that scene with the fox. Just like the orange glow <laughs> yeah. around the trees mm-hmm. was really cool. So, yeah, I think I'm very excited for this movie. Again, I need something medieval, uh, King Arthur legend, give it to me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's and It'll be something different other than yeah. just showing us King Arthur's origin again, which yeah. we've seen a lot yeah, of movies see, yeah. growing up. Mm-hmm. Even though I love that story. I love it, and I, I love different takes on it. I think it'll be cool now to see something else in that world. Yeah, absolutely. And the costumes look awesome. The dude's head catches on fire at one point. I hope he's okay. I know. I, I can't. <laughs> There's obviously going to be mythical, mystical elements to it. The Green Knight uh, himself is obviously something mythical. But then they're showing like the crowns. It almost look like they're like, like they're just floating on their heads. You know, and... well, those kind of crowns that like they're round here, but then they have like the sort of halo thing behind it. Yeah, and like you said, the guy caught on fire, and then we see the stars are shooting like it's like you're space traveling or something yeah. there. I I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, we are very excited for this movie. Uh, who else is in this movie? Uh, Aaron Kellyman, who is kind of making a splash. She was just in Star Wars. She just hit in Marvel. Now she's going for that medieval genre. Mm. Um, she's been pretty good in what she's been in. She's played like a rebel so far and like everything we've seen her as. Um, uh, so excited to see her back on the screen. I think she's got a very promising future ahead of her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm just ready to see some mythical medieval stuff. Yeah, I need some knights of the round table. Knights of the round table, and then some on the table. Teens, Camelot's a silly place. <laughs> so tell us what you think of this uh, trailer. 
uh, in the comments below. If you know anything else, let us know. Yeah, let us know if there's any other medieval fantasy yes. shows that you want us to talk about or react to. Trailers coming out here because we want to know yes. coming up. So thank you again for listening. Make sure to subscribe, like, check us out on social media. And it's like we always say. A goodbye. goodbye.